last day in Israel. Um, one of the things you quickly notice if you go to Wales, there's a lot of sheep, and uh, when you come to Israel, there's a lot of cats. And these are all stray cats, <laughs> and I think this woman is just uh, this couple are just feeding them, so they just come out of every nook and cranny. And uh, yes, these are just stray cats. You can imagine they're absolutely everywhere. <laughs> oh, this is a port city in Israel, Haifa. Very beautiful city. Must say it's probably maybe even my favourite city that I've visited. I've not seen much. Well, this is very near Mount Carmel. Just uh, Elijah's cave is just down from this, and you, what you've got here is a couple of Catholic churches. You know, you've got this, uh, you've got idols, and you've got a monastery into which I was encouraging people to follow Jesus Christ. And one of the monks came out and said I was disturbing people. And I asked him if his soul was saved. And he says he thought it was. And I said, how do I get saved? And he said, I'm not interested in you. And that's exactly what he said. I'm not interested in you. And I see. And so that's how it is with this uh, Catholic Church, you know, full of Illuminati symbolism. And look at the sheeple just taking pictures of all the idols from all over the world. You know, all this is just tourism to them. Uh, and not a stone's fr throw from here is Elijah's cave where he took on the prophets of Baal. And, uh, well, let's just hope uh, Israel can uh, get a grip of this. I just, I just feel that the Catholic Church has got uh, control of a lot of, a lot of places in Israel. And let's hope that they repent of their sin. They repent of their wickedness and idolatry and witchcraft. And they don't preach the gospel at all. And I even asked, the, you know, the man if he had read the Bible, and he, he said, "No, I've not read it all." He, he said he hadn't read it. Hallelujah. Well, faith in Jesus Christ alone. Hallelujah. Faith in Jesus Christ alone. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. There's no co redemptrix. No praying to the saints. No burying before idols. No, no. Jesus alone. His blood paid for your sin. Confess Him as your Lord and Savior today. Baptize in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua the Messiah, and you shall be saved. Baptized in the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. The church has no interest in your soul. It has only interest in your money, in your wallet. It has no interest, no saving power on your soul. Only God has saving power for your soul. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, alone. Not through Mary. She was used to bring forth the Son of God into the world. Don't pray to Mary. Don't pray to the saints. The saints were against idolatry. The saints preached the gospel alone. Faith in Yeshua HaMashiach. Yes. Bow to Yeshua, not to idols. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Have a good day. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you, but you got to repent of your sin. We all got to repent of sin. All of us. Turn to Jesus. 
baptized in his name. God is real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith in Jesus Christ alone. He's the Messiah of Israel. Yeshua is the Messiah of Israel. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, that's where we came from. Uh, the top of Carmel is just about maybe a 15, 20 minute walk up that hill. Uh, which you can get a bus, I think it's a 31 you get. But you can imagine the plateau would have been something like this. You know, I think, uh, you know, the prophets of Baal running around, you know, digging trenches and calling on their gods, cutting on themselves like we see the Muslims do, the other false prophets of, of the day in, uh, when they go to Mecca and uh, all that happens is absolutely nothing zero, nothing the, uh, their soul goes to hell and uh, they actually kill other human beings and uh, that's all that happens in their false religion you know the Catholics bow to their, their, their idols uh, which is breaking the commandment this is not why Yeshua came this is not why Jesus went to the cross as I've said thousands of times not so you can just uh, have it your way Yahweh's Ten Commandments have not changed and they've got to be written on your heart and mind that is the new covenant okay that is Yahweh's new covenant it doesn't change okay and uh, then you have Elijah coming and he fixed his uh, sacri sacrifice and he got them to pour water on the sacrifice a number of times he was just mocking them he was just mocking the false prophets of Baal you know Baal is just a term for master or lord okay but uh, whichever false master or lord these other false prophets have been calling on doesn't uh, give them salvation and there's no signs and wonders if there is any signs and wonders it's around their idols you know you see the you know, blood coming out of idols and weeping statues and all of that nonsense. This is called false signs and wonders that the demons do. And then when Elijah called on his God, Yahweh, Eliyah, the name means my God is Yah. When he called on Yahweh, the fire came down out of heaven, extinguished, uh, licked up all the water, and just absolutely extinguished, I'd imagine, the sacrifice that was, that was lying before the altar. And at that point, all of Israel bowed down and said, Yahweh is Elohim. Yahweh is Elohim. Elijah's God is, is, is the one we will bow to, the one we will serve. Hallelujah. So this is the, the, the bottom of Mount Carmel. We're about 500 feet up from sea level. You can just about see in the distance there. Uh, the Marine Center for Marine Research in Israel, just down there. Um, very nice beaches in Haifa. So, uh, well, I'm in Netanyahu, which is just north of Tel Aviv, and uh, Usually there's not a cloud in the sky in Israel. It did rain while I was here down in the south, which is very unusual. It was real rain, real clouds. Uh, but as you see here, even in Israel, they get a chemtrail sky. And look at that aluminium or aluminium shining out there. Borum, boron, whatever it is, all the metals just glistening out 
you know, it would look beautiful if it wasn't so uh, deadly, you know. And uh, let's hope that Donald Trump or someone can uh, at least give us an explanation or put a stop to this. Um, yes, I was. I'm in Israel, you know, while Donald Donald Trump got elected, and uh, I was in uh, Africa when Barack Obama got uh, ordained into office. Very interesting that Donald Trump's going to get uh, inaugurated into the U.S. office on his 70th year, seventh month, and seventh day. And that's who old, old he will be. And I think that uh, the Lord has definitely uh, moved his hand and put the guy in because America's really uh, in dire straits, you know. But uh, there's a beautiful coastline down here, in the north of the coast of Israel. Uh, used to be Asher. I think Manasseh, I think part of Dan was in Tel Aviv. Um, as you go right down, it would be uh, Judah and Simeon, I think it was, down at the Elat section. So, uh, yeah, it's been a good round trip. Very much enjoyed myself, but uh, here we are back to reality. Going back to this. Must be just that time of the month, eh? Shalom Alechem.